Now, as the government unveils its plans to extend the colour of badges in the battle against TB in cattle, we can reveal that ambitious plans to vaccinate badgers in East Sussex against the disease have been suspended. The vaccination programme won't happen at all this year because supplies of the vaccine have run out. Well, now farmers in East Sussex, which is not in the culling area, are becoming increasingly concerned that their herds could become contaminated with TB. Our environment correspondent, Yvette Austin, reports. Vaccinating badgers against TB in East Sussex. The disease is a big problem here, with badgers being blamed for passing it on to cattle. But the programme has had a major setback. A worldwide shortage of the TB vaccine has meant no animals could be inoculated this year, and the volunteers have got to start again. We need to do this project for five years on the trot in order to get uh, resistance. Uh, in, in that population of badgers so we can wipe out the disease effectively in the wildlife reservoir. Now this sets us back. It means that uh, instead of starting in 2015, we're now going to have to start again when the vaccine comes on track. Last year in East Sussex, there were 17 herds of cattle suspected of having TB, up from 10 a decade earlier, which resulted in 125 animals being slaughtered last year at a cost of more than £30,000 for each farm affected. It's clear slaughtering cattle and placing restrictions on farms isn't solving the problem, say local vets. We've been testing uh, very rigorously for the last 25 years uh, in this area annually. We don't seem to be getting on top of the problem. Uh, so it's clear that there ought to be some other measures uh, that we need to use in order to, to get on top of it. Because at the moment, we're not really getting anywhere. Of course, in other areas, badgers are being culled. Trials began three years ago in Somerset and Gloucestershire. Earlier this week, the trials were extended to include Herefordshire, Cornwall, Devon and Dorset. No culling is planned for East Sussex. Vaccinations began two years ago, but were suspended at the end of last year because of a shortage of the vaccine. But many farmers believe selective culling is the only way forward. I think you could follow the Irish um, example where as soon as you have an outbreak on a farm, you cull the badgers in the immediate vicinity of that outbreak. Um, and that has worked in, in Ireland. But vaccination, I don't think, is the answer. And other people talk about vaccinating cattle, which again is, is a, 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 a very distant pros prospect. For now, though, vaccinating badgers seems to get the public's vote. Almost £25,000 has been donated towards the project. Volunteers hope they can get started again in the spring. Oh, well, Yvette is at a farm near Lewis for us now. Uh, Yvette, do we know yet when vaccinations could begin again? Well, it's difficult to say. The problem is, is that the badger TB vaccine is the same as the human TB vaccine. But one dose for a badger is the equivalent of 10 doses for a human adult or 20 doses for babies. And human health is taking priority. So without a cull, farmers here are left with little to fight with. The vet will be visiting this herd tomorrow to find out if any have tested positive in their latest test. If they have, one or more could end up being slaughtered and the farmer won't be able to take them to market as planned for at least another four months. Okay, Yvette, thank you.